Good morning, video games. Welcome to Filthy Casuals, a podcast about video games, hosted by three very kind and extremely knowledgeable boys. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Tommy Daslow, and with me, as per usual... It's Ben Vanell here. Uh, we had a few little hiccups uh, in the lead up to talking. <laughs> and uh, That was a bad fake hiccup. Yeah, it yeah. was. Boo! Uh, <laughs> now they're gone. Um, first one back in the stewed mm-hmm. since our break. We forgot the order of when to press record buttons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I forgot to say my name's Adam Knox. Yeah, you, you, you struggled to clap for the sinking initially. <laughs> yeah. but Tommy, that intro. I haven't seen any good theatre performances <laughs> over the break. You've only been watching golf. So no it's practice. Just a little... I could have done a quiet one. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, nail the intro, Tommy. Well done. Thank We're you. Back. We're back in the room. We're here to talk about video games again. It's yeah. a new year. There's some fucking awesome games that look like they're coming out this year Mm -hmm. we talked about that last week but uh boy howdy am i ready for a ton of games yeah now we're here and we're in it it feels great i'm uh i'm excited to play like a dragon infinite wealth oh in a couple of weeks yeah i uh i tried to have another little go of uh the man who erased his name i booted it up i walked around for a bit and i went why the fuck would i bother with this now (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, but before before we move on too far from 2023, mm-hmm. before all of our old acquaintances may be forgot, which mm-hmm. is a very bitchy thing to say, <laughs> fuck yeah. the haters is Good. line one yeah. of that. Good point. Yeah. 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 <laughs> My old acquaintance. So just like anyone I had... Anyone I didn't touch a base with in the last year, Out they're gone. Out of my brain. Yeah. Delete. I removed the rear view mirror from my car. And That's how I'm approaching Right. Not life. only that, I can't remember where I've driven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a great... Imagine talking to that person who you're like, hey, have you got any like resolutions for the new year? Have you done any journaling, any reflections? And they're like, no, I wrote a big list of people that I'm never going yeah. to see again. <laughs> you're like, a- yeah, I think you can put me on that list because you suck. <laughs> I kind of just forget my old acquaintances, I think. <laughs> if you can see this, you survived the cull. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a twenty a list of twenty of our acquaintances who are listening to this. Our current mm-hmm. acquaintances. Our current yep. non forgotten, much appreciated acquaintances. Mm-hmm. Uh, dare I say loved. Yeah. No yeah. dare. <laughs> that is funny to Give think me fifty about. bucks, uh Mike Whitney. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Or Tanya Zayeta. Mm. Either one. Please don't forget my old acquaintance, <laughs> Tanya Zayeta. <laughs> um, it's funny to talk, uh, talk about our listeners as, as if they're acquaintances. <laughs> they are acquaintances. <laughs> is, I mean, yeah. they think of us that way in I their think they think of us parasocial their relationships. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think. I think people think of me as a parasocial enemy. <laughs> <laughs> How many people were going to New Year's Eve parties and thinking, like, boy, I can't wait to kiss Ben, Tommy, and Adam when the. <laughs> When the clock strikes midnight. Oh, uh, hang on. I've never actually met them. I'll tell you how many people. No one. Mm, I don't me. know. I don't know. I reckon um, more than zero, less than ten. I'm talking about IRL. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Earl. <laughs> he didn't want to kiss is. me. <laughs> uh, much like Earl, I've got a list here of... Our, our uh, acquaintances. Our listeners. Uh, we, we put the call out for a listener game of the year. Mm. Uh, and it, the call... Came in and I've got. They answered I, I, the call. I went yep. through and tabulated. I did the form in a stupid way where it was all just blank text boxes. Oh for my what to vote. god! Oh. So oh. Well, it was deliberate because it like last time we had the, just five hundred different fucking click the button choices. Oh yeah, yeah okay, that's and this that's, was neater as an experience for the person voting. Yep. But uh, yeah, many different spelling variations. On oh each of yeah. Items. So I went through and tabulated them. I can't believe you tabulated them. I was up all night tabulating. Wow. Mm. No, I did it during the day. <laughs> but I was up all day tabulating. I was up all day. Oh. And then you treated yourself to a good old-fashioned sleep. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have had more. Uh, I don't sleep that well, but I do read 20 games from 20 to 1, Burt Newton style, oh, pretty well. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, do you want to know? You guys don't know this list. I no, I do. don't. No, no. I could just look over your shoulder right now from where I'm sitting and see your handwritten notes. <laughs> I doubt you'll be too surprised by most of them. All right. Yeah. Uh, this It was on a weighted scale, so the game people voted for in first place got three points oh, yes. second place two points third uh, place yeah, one okay. point i love that i love Boy, this is some deep tabulating you've done dude i love to tab <laughs> is now when you say 20 to 1 style does that mean we're gonna pause after each one and have some d-grade <laughs> celebs pop up and give some ribald well, comments about pikmin 4 yeah <laughs> if we are the d-grade celebs, yeah. then yes absolutely wow we got upgraded <laughs> uh, new year new grade <laughs> the uh do you want to have any guesses any predictions as to what the overall yeah. That you uh, d- don't confirm or deny, but no, no, I won't tell you until we're up to it. Uh, I guess I'm gonna say that the number one game was T 
Frontiers of the Kingdom based on our listenership. Yeah, that feels right to me. Yeah. I, I really can't tell between that or um, Baldur's Gate. Yep. But yep, fair. edging more towards Tears of the Kingdom, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now let's do the same thing for numbers 2 to 3. <laughs> <laughs> uh, th- y- Adam, what do you think? Any guesses <laughs> about uh, what's you in your handwriting in front of you? Guesses I had before oh, yeah, tabulating, sure. I can even say. Yeah. Uh, the th- there It matches up with what you'd reckon. Yeah, okay. A lot of good games came out last year. Yeah. yeah. A, yeah. A, it, a, a lot of games got like one vote yes. or something like that, so they don't obviously show up here. There was a good breadth of – and a lot of people being like, I didn't play that many games, so like Kirby from last year – uh, like Don't bother responding then. <laughs> I can't knock that. I enjoyed reading those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was some fun during my tabulation. Mm. People cracking some jokes in there for me. Side quests, okay. Yeah. A bit of fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll go through relatively quick. I will say the top two were with a bullet. Sure. Yeah, and okay. And then uh, the, the rest of the sort of ten were... Hovering around similar numbers, slowly dropping down, as you'd imagine. Yeah, and then that this does make sense to me <laughs> when I think about it. This well, bottom ten are in a second tier. Okay, that are then hovering around similar numbers. Well, sure. what I what I think we should do, and it might even be too late to do this, but um, because we've done our uh, obviously we did our game of the year episode uh, two weeks ago, mm-hmm. uh, and now we're doing this. And I was talking to a friend of the pod, Gibby, the other day, who was mm-hmm. playing through Cocoon, and he's mm-hmm. like. This is a good game. How the fuck did this get Eurogamer's Game of the Year? Yeah. And I was like, you know, oh. out, there's a bunch of, you know, a lot of places they just like to be contrary. It's like yep. you award your Game of the Year to Baldur's Gate 3, who cares? You know, it's like, of course that's going to be, right. that's in the contention for the Game of the Year because it's such a te- technical achievement. So, like, you know, you can understand the, like, uh, the, the motivation to sit around and be like, let's let's have a bit of outside of the box sure, thinking. Sure, a bit of clickbait. So, and so if you're doing like a personal list too rather than like mm. a whole website list like that, with a personal one especially, I can see that waiting towards like, well, I just enjoyed this one My favourite was Armored Core 6. Yeah. I will tell you. So I think... Oh, no, it does. So I, I wonder <laughs> if maybe it's too late for this, but when we get to the end of this list, yes. maybe we should come up with our like overall public-facing uh, game of the year that we put out that's completely right. contrarian and out of the box. Okay. So that, we do, you know, so that we just get a bit more, you know what I mean? Sure. It gets people yeah. talking. It gets people being like, what, what are these guys Sweet smoking game. over there? Game of the year. Yeah, you yeah, know, that yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Well, I did – someone put like the New York Times Connections game as number one, but you know what? That's pretty damn fun and there are a couple of – votes for it here it's the one where you get oh. a grid of like 16 i've been playing it i should talk about it yeah okay you get 16 words wait till we finish recording though please <laughs> <laughs> 16 words in a grid it's part of the new york times you get the cross crossword and the word and yep, all of yep. that oh yeah yeah uh and the words have relations between each other and you get to watch <laughs> relations between each other in groups of four but the words will sometimes have overlapping meanings so you could think for example if you get uh red and blue mm. oh no that's a really bad example uh if you get um color tire and wheel uh-huh car tire could mean sleepy oh. so it actually could go with like bed exhaust and then exhaust I is see. car and so they'll yeah. but some of them will only have three you have to figure out the groups of four that match together on a theme okay it's a bit of fun i yeah. do it every day anyway huh. One thing you don't do every day is read the 20 favourite games, your favourite games of 2023. Number 20, Diablo 4. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. There's a few here that we certainly didn't have on ours. but uh, I did not see yeah. that really getting much of a mention anywhere a, in the interview list. I saw list. it a little bit. I saw it pop up and, and reminded me like, oh, yeah. I guess that was a good oh, game, but it was actually, not... Actually, yeah, I saw it pop up as number 20 on our listener game of the year list. <laughs> I just remembered. Oh, okay. It's funny that some of the reception I've seen in game of the year discussions around that is like, well, after you finish the main story, which is fun, it doesn't keep you hanging around for more of the Diablo stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, again, when you're talking to the everyman, mm. when you're talking to, to Johnny Lampshade out there, uh, it it's... Irrelevant. That if is you my have fun yeah. With the game. I mean, it's it's what it, the fourth in uh, one of the most famous franchises of all time. Right. It's not that uh, big a departure from the previous one. So if you love them and you're uh, the kind of person who mm. buys three games a year, yeah, absolutely, that it's makes scratching sense. the itch. Yeah, and it is num- a great piece of game criticism that I like when you know they'll have hundred percent of the game and be like, yeah, the uh, the last five side quests that I had to do to get to a hundred percent weren't very enthralling. I enjoyed <laughs> seven out of ten after one hundred and sixty <laughs> hours I played on yeah. it. Yeah, and, and it is number twenty on the only list I respect, mm-hmm. which is your 
list. Uh, number nineteen, Hi-Fi Rush. Sure, interesting. I, I, yeah, that was that was on a lot of game of the year list. It's yeah. a really creative, and uh, the 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 rhythm and the music and stuff, and that was really fun. Super, yeah, like um, uh, cohesive and of a style that. Uh, like jived with m- most people Yeah I unique I feel like we were yeah. a little yeah. Unique mechanics Pretty unique Kind of visual style we And yeah When it came out We were sort of in the minority Of not really yeah. vibing with it as we much We get into an awkward position Where we're really picky About some things In similar mm. ways mm. So we can We can join together In a uh, pretty Cocoon is the game of the year way yeah. Of, sure. of uh, Having opinions about things Including number 18 Final Fantasy 16 mm-hmm. Yeah okay Yep Followed yep. closely in front by <laughs> Dead Space Remake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah no, yeah. I, that's we're starting to get into the ones that I did have on my, like, honourables. Um, I, I really enjoyed that game. Mm-hmm. I think everything from up here, you'll be like, yep. Yeah, great. I'll, I'll yeah. go through them pretty quick. <laughs> my eyes are up here. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the last couple of weeks my we talked about them. My ones are up here. <laughs> Tommy, I'm, uh, I'm pleased to announce number 16 is Pikmin 4. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not. I think it should be higher. <laughs> <laughs> number 15, David the Diver. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. David the yeah, Diver okay. coming in at number 15. Number 14, Ben's personal choice, Armored Core 6. Nice. Mm. It's got that, uh, you know, and like pet food, how it'll like have some weird pet chef sometimes who's like, yeah. but like a, a cat who's like, this is my choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this is a fucking Matt Preston of cats. Yeah. <laughs> cat Preston. Yeah. Uh, cat Preston. Cat person, <laughs> the <laughs> and for a dog, George Collar and Barlas. It's wearing oh. a collar. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't give his uh, puppies enough kibble. Yeah. <laughs> and Gary Meowgan. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Rush the ref. <laughs> We're out. Uh, number 13. Yes. Lucky for some. Well, unlucky, unlucky for, for one of the unluckiest games of the year that finished the year with a mostly negative rating on Steam from people that I do think has caught a lot of uh, 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 fashionable heat. Number 13 oh. here is Starfield. Oh. oh. Right. Right. It got a, it's got a bad rating on Steam? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I I finished. I properly finished that over over the break. Right, I, I got up to the last mission and knew what happened and was like, "Well, I'm going to hold off for a bit." Yeah, finished it. Uh, yeah, it's a good game. Like, it's a very good. I game. did. Yeah, I saw this c- pop up in a lot of discussions of people talking about. It might have been in our Discord and in some other places of people's like disappointments of the year. Right, right. And nearly all of them seemed to be based around the fact that. How they had talked about the game in the lead up and how overhyped it was, mm-hmm. where they, you know, I think people felt like this is a fine game, right. but they just really oversold it. And so I really went in thinking I was about to have video yeah. games completely redefined for me. And, and I think I just if you played a fun open world game, right. if you look at it from any other studio, how they would have progressed in the last 10 years between right. Skyrim mm-hmm. and this, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, the 12, 12 years in between. The jump isn't massive. Yeah. Um, So I think that leads to a lot of the disappointment, but it's still in with uh, a very slow moving bullet at number 13. (laughs) Number 12 was Sea of Stars, which I've still not gotten around to, but um, seems cool. Yeah, Yeah. it's it's really good. Number 11, Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty. Ooh. Not a game. It's DLC. I counted it. (laughs) (laughs) There were some I didn't, but I... Most people, most outlets, I should say, did as well. Yeah. Which I don't know. It's like... I don't know, and we talked about this of like uh, it's the 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 um, massive gap between peop- most critics and people's reactions to it when it came out, and now seems strange based on how uh, yeah. little difference. I think there maybe that's is. what people are counting as well, though. Like they're yeah, actually kind sure. of they feel like they're experiencing the like the game for the first time. A lot of the votes were for like the two point patch plus. Yeah, Phantom Liberty sort and of thing. And I get it if it's like a paid, you know, if it's like meaty enough to have been a paid expansion, then and I guess is. you can make the argument that it's a, you know, you've paid more for it, so it's like a new game, the you know. The format mm. of games now, including early access and all of the types of things that mm. games can be. Mm-hmm. Technically, Baldur's Gate 3 came out in 2020. All of that, right. yeah, it's yeah. all meaningless Seasonal now. Seasonal stuff, yeah. Yeah, uh, but uh, it, yeah and I, 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 pl- I finished Phantom Liberty over the break. Nice. It's, it is quite long. It it's is great. a yeah. hefty Ooh. 10 plus hours yeah. and yeah I, I love it I think like some of the all the design of the new area the the the, the acting the, the story is uh I mean and I played through that original story a few times but it, I guess yeah this just felt fresh and and maybe even a bit better done yeah yeah and yeah reflecting can can 
the court of public opinion. Mm. <laughs> anyway, look at us criticizing the critics. What are we, some sort of Metacritic? Um, that's oh, a good idea for a website. Let's that's trademark it, that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number 10. Super Ooh. Mario Brothers Wonder. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Up, up, up there where for did, us too. Yeah. Where did you guys have that? From memory. I don't remember. <laughs> I think... So from memory, can't tell you. What about... Just from uh, having written it down in Google Docs. It must have either been hovering around the bottom end or I think maybe not even in there for me. I think it must have been in there, but I don't I don't remember yeah. being that high for me. I think it was three or something. Yeah, yeah. By the yeah. way, we should say a big shout out to, uh, I, I forget the person's name, but they're in our Discord and they <laughs> they posted oh. a list. They posted a yeah. what looks to be their life's work. A uh, This is a Patreon a, exclusive a, yeah, as well, by the way. Yeah, a, uh, a, a list that they've collated of not only all of our... Our personal um, games of the year going back since we started doing those episodes, mm -hmm. but uh, just any time we've listed off anything, yeah. <laughs> we did a. I forgot that we did this. A, I don't know what it was for. Maybe just a. We were um, banking an app or something, but we did the top. Uh, the, the top dogs in video games yeah. and they've bothered to put that on there. So and I didn't, there's nothing from me. <laughs> Maybe you didn't have a top I th dog. I think I only did jokes. <laughs> yeah, Conscientious right. objector. I only did jokes and, like, nah. <laughs> and this person thought, oh, well, I'm not honoring this. Yeah. <laughs> but like also, yeah, we did a, um, <laughs> we did a uh, premium episode that was, what if uh, the big brother house had to be filled right. with video game characters right. that listed all of that. Yeah. Um, just any time, it seems like any time we've ranked anything, even yeah. just off the cuff gone, here's my favourite flavour of Arnott Shapes. That's in yeah. there. Like. Better fun. <laughs> Barbecue. Yeah. Uh, Boggle Dash, I believe, is their username. And oh, yeah. if you want to see it, you got to sign up to you the Patreon. you got to sign up to the Patreon. Thank you for to doing the, that. To the so social media tier. I forget what mm. it's called, but yeah. And now we return the favour by making your list, the people's yeah. list. Mm. The most electrifying list in video games entertainment today. Number nine, Lies of P. Uh, ah, yeah, yes. Great. I mean, it's it's interesting seeing whether or not we've influenced... Base, I guess what, what games people have played, full uh, stop. Sure. Mm. I mean, there's one that we definitely... I remember not knowing about, but a bunch of people talked about it at the time. Mm. Okay. Uh, coming up later. But yeah, we By were the big, way, big P boosters. We love you, that game. I love P. Have yeah. you guys finished P? I got no. to like the second last boss or something and okay. just found it hard, put it down and haven't gone back. Yeah. I know the stinger you, at the end. Have you, yeah, I was reading about yeah. it. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> we won't spoil it, yeah. but fuck, I want to play more from there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I like that kind of made me – that's the kind of the thing, apart from me hearing you guys talk positively about it, that's like the extra little cherry on top that made me go, i got to go in on this game. Yeah. It's really great. It's fantastic. Uh, number eight, Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Number seven, Resident Evil 4 Remake. Mm. Beautiful game. I still haven't tried that VR mode. Right. Big big plan of mine over over the break was to have a bit of VR time, but I ended up having a bit of real world time instead. And mm. let me tell you, it's way better for you. Yeah. Do you want yeah. some? I feel fine. Do you want some <laughs> honest life advice? Yeah. Sell your fucking VR headset. <laughs> <laughs> You're complaining all year yeah. that nothing's coming out on it, and yeah. then a VR mode for the best game that's ever been made has come out and you still haven't fired I'm it up. I'm going to. Yeah. Sell and it. I could at any time. <laughs> Sell it. Sell it. Go out for like eight nice dinners. <laughs> yeah. The fucking peanut gallery will always have some opinion about Liza, shit they Liza don't know about. You can only adopt something, but then you can send it back to the agency. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's for life. I'm not putting a child through that. Uh, number six, Jedi Survivor. Hell yeah. Star yeah, yeah. Wars okay. Jedi Survivor. Great game. Great game. That was high on my list. I believe, or is on my list. I think I, I will say as well with the voting system too. A lot of ones that are in people's third places can get quite high if mm -hmm. a lot of people play them. Th so oh, like, yeah. I think this was one of the. But yeah, good game. Yeah, number five, Alan Wake Two. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. yeah, Ryder. Mm. Yep. Uh, number four, this is the one I thought maybe I, I hope we got to spread a little bit of the word about is Dredge. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yes. Very okay. high up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number three. Bit of a surprise to me. This is the most surprising one, maybe in in its in its position, but it's a huge game. Spider Man Two. Oh sure. Oh uh, yeah. No, I, I get again, it. That's that's similar to Diablo Four. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where it's like you may not pay, play many games this year. That's but it. You like Spider Man. There's, if there's and a lot Spider -Man of people. Two is a great game. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a game who would it would have been. I think this would have had the highest percentage of like only game of the year. Yeah. For most people. Yeah. Right. You know. Agreed. The top two were far and away the top two. 
uh, coming in just under number one is, as you might guess, number two, The Legend of Zelda Tears oh, of the Kingdom, wow-y. which means number one, Baldur's Gate 3. Wow. Uh, yeah, with okay. a fucking ton of number ones. Yeah. By wow. far the highest number one earner. Okay. Um, so I, I think it's just the thing where if, if, if someone is prone to a Baldur's Gate 3 obsession, yeah. you're fucking in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. But... All great games. Thank you very much to everyone who went and uh, had your say. Yeah. That's your say. Echoed back to you. Mm. Um, and uh, to follow up on uh, a couple of things in there, I would like to – I wish I could redo my list after uh, having a yeah. couple of spare weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, I've sunk more into Spider-Man 2 mm-hmm. and it's just – it's so Moorish. Yeah. It's so – it just feels so good to play. The story is interesting. The writing's good. I'm having such a good time playing it. And uh, also, I properly – I don't know how far in I am. Maybe I'm halfway through. Alan Wake 2. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I properly started that. And uh, it's just – it's so good. Yeah. I'm yep. really, really <laughs> loving it. It's – oh, it like – That would be on your list now? Probably? It would definitely be on yeah. my list now. It would be really yeah. high up. It's – um, yeah, it's – I don't think it does – Everything it, it's trying to do so much at once, yeah. That I think there's a couple of the things that it maybe doesn't do as elegantly as it could, yeah. But uh, you just forgive it because it's it's just doing it all. I don't know, it's the whole, so it's much the sum of the parts, yeah. Like, yeah. I kind of felt like the you know, the beginning of it, you are just thrown into this very like you're just doing detective work mm. that it sort of it teaches you a bit of combat but it's not really giving you all that much. And then it throws you in with this boss, which mm-hmm. I kind of found a bit difficult to get to grips with because I just yeah, hadn't been too. doing... You you do like one little tutorial combat thing yeah. and then all of a sudden you're taking on a boss and I was like, I, don't re- I haven't really gotten the grips of any of these mechanics left uh, yet. I've mm. spent five hours just doing getting clues and putting the Mind Palace stuff together and all that. And, uh, you know, I've done maybe like 10 minutes of shooting and now I'm like in this pretty like aggressive high stakes boss. battle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you don't have much stuff yeah. on you. And I, I, I had but also I wouldn't, I wouldn't change that pace. You know, like weirdly, even though I do think that that makes it a little uneven, mm. I wouldn't change the pace of it. I wouldn't mm. put in more you know, combat stuff in the lead up to that because I just liked, I'm kind of most enjoying the just like going around, getting the clues, finding stuff. I'm not as much loving the like when I'm thrown into the combat stuff because it is a bit too few and far between that I just really get into the rhythm of putting the stuff together. Even though the mind play stuff is so handholdy, just the satisfaction of like, clicking on the right part of the wall and the like bit of twine coming Mm -hmm. along it is such a satisfying feeling that like I I don't really care that it's not you're not really detecting you're 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 having your hand really held yeah I I, I agree with I think all of that stuff like the the combat is very much secondary to the story in that game yeah Mm. uh, for me as well but not that it's bad it's just not as 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 good as the parts of that game's doing really well which is why it was number five for all of you folks. Yeah. Mm. And uh, yeah, so thanks thanks again. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's the last fucking list we'll do for some time, I think. Sure. Ooh. We've done, we've talked about yeah, our favorite games. We've talked about the next year's games. We've mm-hmm. talked about your games. Yeah. I'm sick of numbers. Okay. Letters only from now on. And okay. you better not spell out a number or I'll know. <laughs> okay. That really yeah. sounded like a classic Adam Knox segue into a. <laughs> I've been playing Mario Teacher's Timing over the break. <laughs> no, well, I've, I tell you what, I played a bunch of during the. Or do you want to? Yeah, whatever. We can direct this in whichever way we choose. Yeah, I played uh, uh, a very calm. So <laughs> I painted a lot of where I live, ah, um, yes. and I played a bunch of House Flipper Two mm. yep. over the over the break. We saw a bit of your paint job last night. <laughs> we should say uh, we've done another Lethal Company video. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Surprised that that didn't show up on any. Uh, uh, of our listener. Yeah. Yeah. Did many people so write recent it in? And, I it guess. Was, and it's yeah. kind it of a hard one year. to play. You need a group. And I guess it is still technically an early access, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. So yeah. that could show up on some end of year lists this year. Yeah. Yes. But we had another uh, yeah, session of that uh, last night 
we got two videos out of it. One of them is online now. Yes. And uh, we're actually, I'll be damned if we're not learning how to play this game. Well, you know what? Well, we're kind uh, of not. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly. would be pretty happy for our only YouTube content from now on to just be us playing Lethal Company. Oh, it's really fun. It's really it's enjoyable. It's a fun yeah. game. It's, it has that perfect thing that I feel like people were getting out of Fall Guys that we just did not at all. Right, of yes. Of like... You're, you're running around the con- like the I guess the controls are quite precise in Lethal Company yes. they're very simple but they're very precise but like we're fucking up heaps and it's very very funny it is the perfect like natural comedy game yes. it, it isn't trying to be funny mm. and, it's trying to be scary but it is so built to be funny deliberately yes mm. like it isn't it isn't accidentally funny it knows exactly what it's doing totally and, and you might die so and well. fuck up because a little you know creature jumps out from behind a doorway you and might have you. that happen every time you <laughs> might have that happen every time but not because i think with four guys the thing we all found annoying was like the the physics of just moving around yes. that that style of like you're gonna fuck up at this game because the controls are shit is, beasts, is really annoying yeah, human like, fall flat all of those types of ones yeah. frustrating that are yeah. yeah not explicitly making jokes games but are like comedy games yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really liking Lethal Company too, and yeah, we'll be playing more of that on YouTube. Yeah, um, as well as probably as much as at some point. But at, th- at this point, that's what we're doing. Mm. Anyway, but, um, you hopped on uh, Discord last night before oh, our yeah, session, yeah. and I saw a beautiful newly painted wall behind you. <laughs> that's Rhino Gray. <laughs> is it really? Oh. The lettering is raised Nimbus. You weren't tempted <laughs> um, to use the uh, Pantone color of the year from 2023. What was it? Oh, well, was it yeah. like a pastel? It's like pink a pastel pink kind of thing. I yeah. feel like that's from 10 years ago. I thought that was the at least a year before, yeah. Or at least just like, you know, socially, maybe it's their yeah. one. But but in terms of cool, people into pastel pink right now? Evidently. That's I guess weird. so. You could have uh, you could have gone full 2023 mode and uh, used pastel pink to paint, p- to paint the colour, <laughs> to paint the word Riz on the wall behind you. He's the colour of Porky Pigs, you know. He's the colour of the year. pastel pink. Try saying that, Porky. Porky Pig pastel pink. Yeah, maybe maybe twenty. Two was uh, uh, salmon. Might have been salmon. Oh, Just yeah. getting different shades of pink for the yeah. next decade. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, I did a bunch of like DIY around the house and fucking trees and shit, and it was mm. really fun. You uh, fucked some trees. Huh? <laughs> you can't prove anything. <laughs> Talk about a woodpecker. Um, I I okay. played a bunch of House Flipper Two. Mm. Right. And uh, that when did game- that come out? A few months ago or something? No, no, no. December, I think. Oh, it's fairly recent. Less than one month ago. Uh, is there something around there? Okay, four, four to six weeks. <laughs> no, three to six weeks. We could probably figure it out if you really want to. <laughs> I'd love to drill down even further. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you like drilling down, yeah. Uh, so I really enjoyed House Flipper One. Famously, um, it, it's the s- similar to Power Wash Simulator, which you played a bit of over the break, Tommy. Mm-hmm. Of just a sit back, move your mouse a little, do a little yard work in a simple. Um, straightforward, relaxing way. Mm-hmm. It's that joke from The Simpsons of the VR ha- yard work simulator. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it really is just like um, calming and uh, it's you, you, you're you placing objects in there as well, uh, make, building furniture and stuff. So it's got a bit of like the Simsy mm-hmm. kind of um, satisfaction of just home design and decor and stuff. But then... Uh, like, un- was it called unpacking? Yeah, unpacking. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like that, yeah. yeah. Um, the so the first one w- was good, but a little clunky, a little frustrating at times mm-hmm. because uh, the actual mechanics of how you were doing things was sometimes a little weird. Like you'd be squeegeeing windows, for example, and it was really particular about getting every yeah. speck of dirt is, off of there. Is this is a house flipper and um power wash? Are they the same? Company? Are they made by the same people? Don't think so, but they've got very similar, um, yeah, like uh, 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 mission statements. All yeah, right. and and also just like that's the one thing I don't really love about Power Wash is just the the interface is really similar to the House Flipper. It's like yeah, very small text, very I don't know. There's just something about it that's like a little too. I don't know, and I know this is like the point of the game. But it's just very mechanical and very like yes, it I feels don't know. stiff. Yeah, uh, and yeah. I found that about Power Wash too. And there's some stuff you can do with Power Wash as well, where you like uh, release your um, uh, washer mm. from being in the center of the screen, so you can move it around independently, and uh, that yeah, feels yeah. a lot better to clean things. Okay, and, but you do have to be very particular about cleaning up every speck of dirt in that. House Flipper Two was similar with some stuff. I mean, House Flipper One, House Flipper Two has streamlined a lot of that. Okay, has improved how it's thought about. 
uh, how you do basic stuff like painting. Mm-hmm. So, for example, uh, it, in, in House Flipper 1, you would paint like a strip of a certain width of blocks along a wall and you would move along and do it and re- relocate it every time. In this one, you kind of draw out a grid on the wall of how much of the wall you want to paint, then just go nuts on it. Uh, okay, that's handy. The windows, when you're cleaning them, if you've cleaned like... 90% of it, it'll give it to you. you okay. You're fine then. Okay. It, a, a lot of stuff Good like lesson that to learn. has just been, uh, yeah, streamlined and, and is uh, smoother and uh, a, a little more fun to um, actually do. So I chewed through the there's sort of like a main story of House oh, yeah. Flipper 2 where, I mean, it's not really a story. You're getting calls from all the people who you're doing and they've each got some little different scenario mm-hmm. that they want it done. They're like, uh, oh, there was a flood in my house. Can you go clean it out and mm-hmm. uh, replace it with all this furniture? And it's just a, a satisfying, relaxing, simple time that at some point is going to be monetized to hell. And like that's what they did with House Flipper 1 is put out 30 expansions or whatever. Right. For, now right. here's gardens. Now here's pets. And it's similar to something like City Skylines or mm-hmm. any very expansion-based game. Well, and they're when, doing the same thing with Power Wash where they've put right. in. They did Final Fantasy was free, but then SpongeBob is paid. Back right. to the Future's There was a free paid. Tomb Raider one. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, and... and that's sort of different because, well, it's the same, but then in House Flipper 2, you move on from one that had all of this extra stuff in it over time from these expansions, mm-hmm. and now you're sort of taking a step backwards to where, oh, well, I can't do the lawn now. I can't do all of these other um, types of, of house flipper cleaning. Right. The basic thing is that you're going and cleaning up dirty houses and then selling them for more, by the way. Or right. you're doing little missions for people who uh, want you to fix up their house, doing DIY projects. But so there's less in two than there was in one by the end of it, if the that makes sense. The characters lost their powers. Like, sort of, <laughs> yeah. It's, you, well, you're one was popular and then they were adding this stuff in, right? And so with two, they know... Oh, we'll hold this back because it's we just know we can charge and for it down the line. Lots of things sort of do it that way. The Sims has done that a bunch as totally. well, yeah. where totally. like, you know, by the end of one of the run of those games, you've got fucking horses and wizards and whatever. Mm-hmm. Two similar scale things. <laughs> <laughs> a, ho- a wizard. I was going to say a horse could ride a wizard. A wizard could ride a horse. If a wizard wanted it to happen, yeah, the true. horse could make the wizard. I reckon I, there's a small enough horse out there that I could let it ride me. Oh, a little Shetland pony? Yeah. 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 See how the other half live, horse. <laughs> yeah. Um, so... That is just like an annoying sort of quibble about it. That right. uh, it's it's annoying to go back onto the same treadmill, presumably now, where yeah. it'll go garden next, and then this other expansion, then this other one, rather than going two has that stuff, and we're going to think of more things to yeah. do. Yeah, and I'd yeah, be yeah. happy for it to go full on like we're in fucking space now, and mm-hmm. you're doing this space house and whatever space house flipper. Go wherever you want, mm-hmm. but. Uh, it is a bit of a shame to take a step backwards in that way, even though the base stuff has been streamlined in a really uh, smart way that I just found better across the board yeah, for all cool. of the functions that you do have in it. I think I kind of feel a bit the same about Power Wash with the stuff with the DLC. Like it's pretty pricey mm. for it what it is. Like you it's just like basically, I mean, the SpongeBob one. It's it's cool, like you know, you you're cleaning up his little house, but there's no like music or like flavor to it, really. You're just right. walking You'll around be in silence. Texts from SpongeBob, yeah, but no, it. just like you're just reading texts from him. That's it's weird. like not voiced. There's no. I thought there might be like a little cutscene or something, and it's like thirty bucks for you to just basically stand in front of a big 3D model of and his they're, house. They're twelve, I think, to be fair. Like each of the individual level packs. For oh, really? Power Wash. Yeah, oh, maybe. Okay. You got ripped off. I got by ripped off. Yeah. Someone selling Power Wash. I bought Wash. mine in an alleyway. <laughs> um, I tell you what, though, the brutal thing about Power Wash is uh, you really learn about what your own standards of cleanliness are. Because I, I was like, well, that's. I mean, that's a that's done. That's beautiful. And then I click the little thing that tells you how much you've done. It's like forty percent clean. And like, it's always the same oh, shit God. that I do in real life, where it's like, did you check on top of all the things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess. I I didn't. Uh, I didn't because I don't want to. <laughs> can I see them? No, then they're clean. Yeah. Um, yeah, I enjoy Power Wash Simulator for the same reasons. And I've ended up buying all of those things and enjoy them because they're well done, like visually. Like yeah. each of the sort of what you're doing is like in the Back to the Future pack, for example, you're cleaning like uh, the clock tower mm-hmm. from uh, the lightning storm and the DeLorean and, you know, all the, all the things you And you've imagine. got the like motorbike from Final Fantasy VII right, is right. in there. The Airbus stuff. Yeah, I did have a a moment when I was cleaning SpongeBob's house where I went, wait, I'm using my hose, but I'm, but I'm underwater. 
and I thought I was going to pass out. <laughs> I didn't think about that. And, yeah, now I feel dizzy. I was just watching it. I was like, wait, what's ta- – oh, how – Dude, he's a snail. <laughs> um, anyway, House Flipper 2, pretty cool. Uh, but uh, if you've played a bunch of House Flipper 1... You might be missing that extra stuff. And you you could probably be pretty happy to wait for mm. uh, several years, I suppose. But, like, there'll be a pack one day with all of it like there is for House Flipper 1 now. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's, ju- it's just frustrating to go backwards yeah. with these things, even though some of the fundamentals have moved forwards. Uh, but I really enjoyed uh, playing that thing. And if you're into that type of like uh, DIY, freshen things up, neaten things out, mm-hmm. make things smooth, move your mouse a bunch just left and right basically. But oh. there'll be different oh, types yeah. of mops and brushes that are pretending to be your mouse. You've got it. Okay. okay. You've got yourself a real deal in House Flipper 2. <laughs> I did oh. a little bit of uh, oculusing. Oh, okay. Uh, I, uh, and I had my own little... Nah, weird. <laughs> Own it and leave it alone. That's how you should do it. A little bit of life advice for you, Tommy. Don't touch your expensive possessions. <laughs> oh, sorry, meta I was going to say, yeah. what, are you, what are you talking yeah. about? Um, I, uh, I had to do... I forgot... I, it had been so long since I'd, uh, since I'd used it mm. that uh, I had forgotten this had happened. Um, I had to do my own little bit of DIYing. One of my uh, controllers... When Resident Evil 4 came out, I could not get the right controller to work and I did a bunch of Googling and I found out what can sometimes happen is that there's like, I don't know, like a gap or something between like where the battery is connecting. So I've had to get a little bit of foil and like oh. fold it over and make a little kind of pillow nice. to kind of bridge that gap to mm. get it to work. So I had to go do all that again. Uh, but I downloaded the uh, Wallace and Gromit VR game. Hell yeah. Which... There's also a uh, there's a Sam and Max one on there, which I was also very excited about because I love Sam and Max, and uh, these things uh, all tend to be pretty much the same thing. You're doing a bunch of bullshit little vi- uh, mini games where it's, you're just it's a man and a dog. You're just <laughs> yeah yeah. You're picking something up and you're putting it in a little thing, and then you're aiming a little and you're shooting it. It's just Are a you... little storyline around just doing these yeah. same little mini games that are in every VR-based are thing. You, are you getting anything or required to or given an achievement or something at any point for doing the Wallace hands, the wiggling fingers hands? It does. The, it does teach you that early on as like a it's you're this little you're being talked to by this little robot and it's like hey if you need help just do this oh cool which is pretty cool yeah Great. that's cool but anyway the the actual like the gameplay of it is it, you know it's 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 whatever yeah. but i will say sit, sitting there and be, and you know also i'm getting that like extra effect of like i had not put on the headset for like quite some time mm. so i'm just the effect of vr again being like oh yeah this is really cool putting it on and i'm in their little living room and <laughs> Gromit sitting across from me looking back at me, I was like, I'm so happy. This yeah. is fucking awesome. Sick. Like, okay, yeah, if all we ever get out of this kind of VR experience is like, hey, you're just, you're, you're in the world. Wallace. You're hanging mm-hmm. out with him. You, you know, pick up his little golf ball and go put it in that. <laughs> That's fine. If right. I get to sit there and... You know, Wallace's famous golf balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to the moon so we can play golf up there. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll accept that. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that was a bit of fun. Mm. Uh, and yeah, I did a bit of power wash in there, and uh, I've downloaded I, more Beat Saber stuff, I, which I, I've not gotten around to. Oh yet. yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's the Rolling Stones yeah. are on there now. Yes, that's keep, cool. Keep meaning to to go into the. Vi- a lot of the reason why I didn't during this break is because I was doing all that DIY yeah. stuff, Real which stuff. stands for. Don't I? You wish I'd paid someone to do this instead. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm I'm so keen to do Resident Evil and play. Um, everyone's been splooging their dungarees about Asgard's Wrath. Too. Yeah, yeah, that well, that yes. was on a lot of uh, end of year lists. Yes. That's like a came out like really recently though, so it, yeah. it was right. like December the fifteenth or something like that. And it's like a it's like a hundred hour yeah, RPG or something RPG, in yeah. yeah in VR. It seems like it's a. Uh, the f- you know one of the first you know big full scale games in a you know in a VR. I'd mm. love to be wiggling that soon, as well as mm. some positive previews uh, that have just come out about uh, Prince of Persia: The Lost Crown. Yeah, which we all were pretty dismissive of last week. Yep, because um, it doesn't look good. <laughs> From, from yeah, I feel like that makes sense, yeah. right? Yeah. It, it didn't appear that it would be good. Well, we talked yeah. about it just last week. Yeah. yeah. Some Dismissively. <laughs> derisively. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, it turns out we shouldn't have been so ribald. <laughs> 
um, because it but early previews are good. So I'm interested to play that. Yeah, song. and yeah. finding out that it's the a lot of the same people that worked on the Rayman Legends and Origins, which are fantastic mm-hmm. 2D platformers, kind of made me go, oh, okay, well maybe this is worth uh, mm. taking notice of. That mm. could be a lot of fun. But uh, hey, speaking of 2D platformers, uh, I've been. I'll tell you what I've been giving a red hot workout to the analog pocket. Oh. It oh, might be my favorite. Uh, I thought he was going to talk about something else. <laughs> Hole in his pocket. Something yeah. else pocket sized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Uh, so small. Uh, yeah. um, it might be my favorite video game uh, console thing that I own. I've had to it's, fucking wow. like slap my hand on the purchase <laughs> button a few times. <laughs> I could trade in the PSVR and get one of them mm. probably for roughly yeah. the same price, mm-hmm. but I simply refuse. Okay. <laughs> They're fucking great. And just something about, yeah, playing the... Playing the Game Boy stuff on... I'm sure I said this before. Playing the Game Boy stuff on the Switch Online, there's just something about, like, the layout of that console and that screen size. Like, actually playing it on something that replicates the feel of the original Game Boy is just... I'm having such a good time. So I've gone and... uh, I've, I've gone through... Wario Lands 1 through 4, the original yes, Game Boy dude. quadrology. It's taken like <laughs> eight years, but I've fucking wrecked you because you are sitting there playing an <laughs> emulated console with every game on it and uh-huh. you've gone through a whole series uh-huh. that is yeah. no longer relevant yep. from 1 to 4. Yep. I've, I've, yep. I've converted. You've incepted him. I've yeah. incepted you. Yep. Finally. Well, I, I said, uh, We're spreading. <laughs> <laughs> I said this when I got it that uh, the... Uh, uh, the first thing I played on it was um, I have an actual uh, Wario Land 1 cartridge that I bought uh, in Japan when we were there, Ben. Mm-hmm. Um, so would you like to hear my brief thoughts and rankings for oh. <laughs> Wario Land Delete 1 through 4? Delete the word brief from that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Go yeah. as in-depth as you feel. Out. Yeah, because they're, um, they're weirdly... They are all quite different from each other, not really, and not really in a way that's like that iterative where they're like mm. adding on little things. They're kind of like mechanically, and yet yeah, they're all, yeah, they just kind of like scrap what they've done before and completely right. change from one to the next. Because Super uh, Wario Land One, Super Mario Brothers Land Three. Um, which it yes. was. Uh, yep. I, I've played that one, which is where you're doing a lot of shoulder charging, mm-hmm. sure. uh, but it's a pretty straightforward kind of slow paced platformer. Yeah, and it's interesting because uh, just kind of reading a bit more about the team that had made the uh, Game Boy um, Mario Land games, Wario was kind of born out of them, feeling like they really were this like B team of second banana, you know, like the Super Nintendo is going off and they're just t- sort of relegated right. to doing these like, you know, what we're seeing as like these scaled back smaller, sure, black even and though white, simple, yeah. yeah, even though Mario Land Two is great, like they they just still felt like they wanted to do something that was like their own identity. So they sure. just, and they also didn't really have that many eyes on them. So they just pivot and they go, here's our weird little fucked up guy that we're just going to make these games of now. And also just the fact that he, you know, Mario is a bit more about speed and Warrior, like he takes up more of the screen. He's slower, which just kind of like makes sense for the architecture of the Game Boy. Like it just, you know, mm. all that kind of stuff is so fascinating to me. But it's, yeah, very like slower paced game. It's, uh, you know, you're going from A to B, but then you're looking for treasures along the way. And it's like a, you know, it's for like 1993, it's like it's pretty cool. It's got like you know multiple endings based on like how much treasure you've collected along the way. But what I found very funny about it is you get to the end, you get shown uh, how much, uh, what kind of castle you've um, been able to buy based on how much treasure you've collected. Mm. And then uh, I found this very funny and of its time. It just goes anyway. The end. Um, have a you know you got this ending. You could have gotten more. Maybe uh, maybe try to get some more. And then you don't get booted back to the menu. You yeah. don't get booted back to the map screen. You just have to turn the game off and start all over I again. I love that shit. <laughs> but it was just like, yeah, man, turn it off now. See ya. Yep. Try this again. Just go back through it again. So uh. much character in that, though. Like, Mario Land 2 has that. And the best parts of Mario Land 2 are how the, the weirdness of that yeah. for even a Mario game. And then, but like, I can still, I've got him the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah. Yep. 
I get like I haven't played that game in years. But even when he gets hit, and it, you know, it kind of took me a little while to realize this because they don't have like a proper, you know, they obviously can't do vocal stuff in it. Mm. But he's got his little noise that he makes where he goes. That's a fa- all like, the little squelchy yeah. sounds they're able to get out of that. Thing. Kind of, it took me hours into these games to realize, like, oh, that's their like version of him like having a voice. Like right. that's. That's kind of, you know, what they then would have iterated on with ch- getting Charles Martin to do his voice. You know what I, I mean? He, like, yeah, just heard it going like, bah, 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 and we yeah. were like, okay, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's his voice. So one's great. Yeah, you just, it's pretty simple. You just Wario's out to just find some treasure. Uh, the second one, he's uh, he's in his little castle. A bunch of bad guys come and they take over his castle and kick him out. Fuck. And uh, you, you've just got to, you've just got to track him down. You've just got to. <sighs> Go to the castle. John Wick the, style. Yeah, yeah it, it I really don't know is. You, but they have a certain set of skills. <laughs> they take all his money. That's the other movie. Mm, yeah, John you, Wick too. You got to go to his. Uh, you got to go to the bad guy's castle and get all your money back. Mm-hmm. Um, this one not as good. Okay. I think they they really shift it up. So in this one, you can't die. Like you don't have a health bar or anything like that. Interesting. It's sort of a lot more like puzzle based in how you get in and out of the levels. Um, they start to do a lot more of the like little um, transformations that he has. So there'll be like a, you know, there'll be like a little chef guy walking around who's just chucking donuts out. And if you touch one of the donuts, you get real fat and then you can <laughs> break through, <laughs> break ah. through different parts of the wall and ground and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, there's just something about this one that didn't click with me as much. Like the, the ones, one and three both have like an overworld map, which I love. This mm. is just like a lot more linear. He's on a little story. Just it goes from like level to level. Right. Um, yeah, I didn't really gel with this one as much, but then three, uh, I loved. Three is he, he's uh, he's off looking for treasure. He gets sucked into a magical music box. Oh, <laughs> and you got to try Ooh. and get your way out. And I I I played this back in the day, but I had forgotten this about it. It's basically a Metroidvania where you don't really have any of your abilities at the start and you gradually unlock them. And it does this really nice job of like you unlock new little levels, but you're going back into all of them maybe four or five times as you get new abilities and then you'll be in a level and you'll hit a switch and then it's like the water level's raised so you can get up to this bit now. It really, it's like, I think it's like 10, 11 hours long. They like cram so much into this game in such a smart way of like they've built the levels, the levels are all there so it's not using up, you know, too much of the um, uh, uh, space Mm. on the cartridge but just like getting you to go back in in different Mm. ways and find new stuff in the levels. It's like so satisfying to really feel like you've thrashed all these levels for everything they're worth. Fuck, this guy's (laughs) living my dream. (laughs) (laughs) And then... uh, And three on a goddamn cool thing. Four is the best one. I can't believe they tapped out after four. Well, they made another couple, but... Four's the GBA one. Four's the GBA one. It's got these cool SNESy visuals. Um, he's He's got a bit of fucked up digitized voice sample stuff in there right. that they somehow managed to fit on those GBA cards that they were kind of obsessed with. I loved it when they did Do you remember the little you could get TV show cartridges? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little like two episodes of Pokemon and a Game Whoa. Boy cartridge. Yeah. You could get yes. like half of Shrek or something, I think. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have half this road trip quiet yeah. because the, the kid's in the back holding a Game Boy Advance, wrecking his eyes. You know what's funny is you can download ROMs of them. <laughs> oh, I know, baby. <laughs> That's sick. People have made other movies into Game Boy Advance cartridges. Ah, versions. cool, cool. It's just a super compressed fucking movie. So yeah, like, yeah. They look like shit, but yeah. it's so they're like cool. a thirty-two megabyte real player file, yeah. basically. Right. Uh. Um, but yeah, the the Warrior Land Four. It's got the mechanic that I love that they uh, stole for Pizza Tower, where mm. you get to the end of the level, you hit a switch, and then you got to run back through the level, taking like a different path because certain bits are closed off. Right. Um, the character design is just them sort of stretching out with the you know being able to do more That's graphically awesome. uh so my official ranking four one three two okay all right that's also my pin code that's uh, so wow don't use one <laughs> two three and four in your pin code they're not in that order <laughs> that's a public service no one answer. knows the order that they're in it's fine well there's a limited number of orders of you know um <laughs> anyway i think fuck, i want to talking about numbers <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> we sorry. We swore we wouldn't. I want to do all of them. I want to go through... How many more are there? Well, there's... Uh, so, there's Wario World on the GameCube, which I'm okay. about halfway through, which is like 
3D, which yep. they've never gone back to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then there's Master of Disguise on the DS, which oh. I've never played and is apparently terrible. Okay. Uh, and then there's the Shake Dimension on the Wii, right. which I'm again halfway through yep. and is great. But I'm playing it emulated on the Steam Deck mm-hmm. <laughs> and trying to get the dolphin to mimic the uh, tilt controls. And it's it's just full uh, of all Wii. Yeah. It's so right. much Wii Mote stuff yep. that I'll go I'll go into the settings and I'll get it all configured and I'll be like, okay, I've cracked the code. I can play this game. Great. And then I'll get up to the next level, which has introduced some new bullshit movement-based mechanic right. that none of my configurations work for. If you, so I have to go back into the menu and redo all of it. Fuck. If you really want to wear my uh, face Hannibal Lecter style <laughs> and get fully into this shit, mm. uh, you can connect a Wii remote to uh, a, a Steam Deck. Yeah, I can't. So you can you can connect a Joy-Con and get it to mimic a oh, yeah. Wii remote. Okay. But I... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I can't get it to properly register it right. for the same inputs. Maybe I do just need to straight up get a Wii remote, mm. but yeah, Wii. I think I might Play need to it get on a Wii. Original hardware. No, I, I, don't worry. I've been looking. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I did start to think because I just got very. I'm just like I want to knock off the whole series, mm. and I'm just I've hit a brick wall with it on the Steam Deck, and I did. I genuinely was looking up. Maybe I just buy a Wii and a cop. Yeah. Maybe that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it is do it to play it on well. just mm. the actual hardware. Um, this is Nintendo's smart way of uh, protecting themselves from emulation is to have a have a system that has some bullshit controller that can yeah. <laughs> never be mimicked on any other kind of hardware. You wouldn't emulate a car. Uh, the that's that's great. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that that's what you've been doing. It was a fun little summer project. Yeah. Um, do you know? Well, speaking of fun summer projects, do you know what Brian Cox has been doing over the summer? Oh, I do actually. His winter, I suppose, wherever he would be. What? What was the other thing he did? A McDonald's he's commercial. Done, he's popping up on McDonald's ads on uh, most podcasts that I listen to. Yeah. Go get it, man. Provide. He's. I mean, he's. Do, he's just finished the role of his career, and he's he's cashing them checks. I kind of yeah. love it. You know, it's like my legacy is set. Yeah, he true. I mean, he kind of really is living the Logan Roy lifestyle. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter what I do from now on. Yeah, didn't get your own fucking pile. Because <laughs> like even like Weird Al did those Starbucks commercial. Not Weird Al. I mean Al Pacino. <laughs> Weird Al Pacino. Weird Al Pacino. And also that ad. Never mind. That ad's from okay. Little Nicky or something, isn't it? Weird Al Pacino. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. What would he sing? Uh, pizza, pasta, oh, I don't know. But, um, <laughs> that was, that was yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong like star, that. you shouldn't Br- have bailed. Brian Cox has done an Wait, ad. hang on. Weird Al Pacino. He's yeah. doing uh, Blur song number two. Hoo-ha! There you yeah. go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a great <laughs> ass. Um, the, it's, 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 there's an ad for Tekken 8. It's incredible. That is a five-minute monologue of Brian Cox recounting the story of the series, yes. specifically the Kazamas and the Mishimas. Um, the the main story, mm. which I love that. So he goes through and explains it all, and he's like, "Hey, Hachi uh, was afraid that his son uh, Kazuya yes. had the devil gene." Yes. It kind of explains what the devil gene is a bit, but it's just like right. it makes you turn into a devil. And, yeah. But yeah. Uh, that he's like, and then uh, Kazaba kills his dad. Hey, Hachi throws him off a cliff, thus winning the King of Iron Fist tournament. With the one aspect of this whole thing, he doesn't explain at all. Yeah, yeah. So this is almost like what we need to see is this trailer's all well and good but you want to see the behind the scenes of this being made where oh, he's yes. like what the hell is any of I'm this assuming about he's coming in there being like yeah no i get it yeah i think it's because it's like it's kind of done with a bit of a wink like it's not for sure f- fully a- as like straight down the line it's not hoping that you're just like oh stuff. this voiceover guy sounds cool it's very yeah. like yeah. hey it's Brian Cox he's, got, he's standing in a dumb fucking green screen studio and like. he keeps pointing behind him he's like to this cl- he threw yeah. him off this cliff <laughs> yeah. that I'm standing in front of yeah. oh reaching his hand towards yeah. the screen for as the way he says the devil gene the first time it's like he he knows uh, and the people making it know it's he's a professional too he's like 
exactly. he's looked into it. He's, he's not just right. turning up and cashing Ask the check. Ask them how to pronounce off. these names properly yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah, but yeah. Um, it does have a little bit of like, you know, mobile game ad vibes yeah. when you get some mm. famous. But like, there were those ones, I think I talked about them with Benedict Cumberbatch, talk about some fucking scam ass game. Oh, yeah, like, like, like Merge I, Mansion or whatever. I personal. Oh, Pedro Pascal was in those oh, ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're all doing it thinking they won't show up in anyone's algorithm. But um, they must be getting paid a hefty wad of cash. It's the new, like, Schwarzenegger going to Japan to do a, like, (laughs) soda commercial. Yeah, yeah. This is just for gamers. No (laughs) one real will ever see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, It's sick, though. Santori style. (laughs) Pretty comprehensively covers the, that main Tekken storyline from I've, 1 through 7. I've played every Tekken game and I still had no idea what the story was and I was genuinely informed I've by seen it. a number of people say that same thing yeah, too. Of yeah. like, cause I've seen all of those cutscenes of people throwing each other off a of cliff yeah. and then like trying to animate a <laughs> smile to camera. But like back in, even Tekken 3, but Tekken 2 and, and 1, which I played all of at the time, it's like, yeah, there's no voice acting. Mm. There's only a little text scroll at the start of the game. Yeah. You have no context for any of this. And it's some random cunt punching someone else and then riding a motorbike yeah. away. And you're like, I oh, guess you mean, Paul's happy. You mean Paul? <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is like, yeah. yeah. I kind of love that all the fighting games have decided they have to do this now where it's like, you know, right. they're, they're very, you know, they're well designed and they're, and they're very like, you know, they become these cultural icons. So they're, they're well designed characters, but... All of a sudden in 2023 being like, yeah, by the way, Chun Lee works for the CIA. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> when yeah. was that decided on? The guy with the leopard hat has a <laughs> tragic backstory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, like a lot of this stuff has existed since like, but it was like written on the manual that an arcade right. owner would get right. or something. Yeah, or yeah. on the side of the cabinet yes. where you might, yes. if you're waiting in line to have a turn, yeah. you might have a read, but can otherwise. you move House like, of the Dead out of the way yeah. so I can get the war? <laughs> um, it, he's in the game too. Yeah. I don't know if he's in eight. But um, anyway, martial law. Martial law. So good. The game looks the great. The King of They're- Iron Fist Tournament. That's it. That's wah, it. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> we all remember our childhood sounds. Yeah. Mm. Shut up or I'll make you cry <laughs> about something. <laughs> <laughs> Again, <laughs> An you were raised by Porky Pig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was that Logan? <laughs> uh, I'd never had a child. But, um, oh, someone should chuck the succession characters into Tekken or something. It's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of, you know, it's That's familial true. backstabbing and they own a massive company, the Mishimas. And yeah, the, and half the, the people are wearing the, suits and stuff, yeah. Um, so it, it, it's 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 fun. Tekken 7 had all of the cutscenes from the first six games. Mm. And I oh, think right. had emulated versions of the arcade versions of each of them too. Right. Oh, that's cool. I can't right. remember. But uh, it's pretty funny, and I'm looking forward to eight a lot. That's this month. That's, yeah, real. That's There's a the demo same, of it up now. Is that the same day as... Uh, like a dragon, I it, think. I think it might be. Yeah. yeah. And then Persona's around there. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, mm. the Persona 3 remake and then it's Final Fantasy, what, a couple oh, of weeks after a, that? Go yeah. back and listen to our podcast from last week. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a Which Prince was of, a month ago yes. for us. <laughs> There's a Prince of Persia demo oh. now, I think. Sick. Today. Nice. Yeah. I'll give that so a honk. Gonna, well, yeah, we'll I'm be gonna going gonna in on that. I'll give it too. Mm. Uh, I, so also previews for Suicide Squad Yeah. Uh, hanging around and universally negative. Yeah. Mm. Uh, which is rare to see yeah. such untempered... I don't like this game from a bunch of previews. For a pre, I mean, yeah, if you're gonna give if you're gonna give the press a five hour demo, I think it was uh, like a month out. Mm. Like, it's kind of crazy to me to like they just don't get that they've made a bad game yeah. at all. I like, think they must get it, but it's like you're working with this huge company who probably wants you to do the. Well, no, here's a, this is how a press thing goes. Yeah, and do sure. This and do that. Sure. Maybe they wanted to go more into it, but it just looks like shit too. For I watched some footage of it and like fidelity wise and everything, it looks good, but mm. there's so much bullshit on the screen. It doesn't look uh, fun to play. I'm definitely going to play it <laughs> to talk about it here. But yeah. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm ta- I'm, oh, I've already decided I'm taking that hit. So if yeah, you guys okay. don't want to, it's how very fine. Joker of you! <laughs> <laughs> it's such a sh- it's such a fall from grace. Like I yeah, I don't know if yeah, like it, the, the ne- negative. It's because it's rock steady. It's not like they're just one company that just make these games, and I guess the critics are like, well, they're not not giving me a Nintendo, you know, future. They're just happy to fucking you know. Annihilate it critically. Yeah. Um, hey, by the way, yeah. did we? I f- have a feeling that we did not talk about this on the pod yet. That maybe this happened after we'd banked uh, stuff. 
Uh, that Last of Us multiplayer thing got officially canned. Yeah, it I did. don't think we talk about. I don't think, I think we talked about like that on the, the show day yet. After we recorded, yeah, stuff. Right, yeah. right. I think it was it was swirling around. There was like all the negative, but they did, yeah, the fact that they finally came out and just went. Yep. you know what? When yeah. it's not worth it, good we're, on them. we're out. Yeah, absolutely good on them. Yeah, but this kind of feels like a similar studio. I mean, this is like kind of good evidence, I guess, of like them. Right of Naughty Dog making the right decision where this studio that had made these like great single player experiences feeling like they have to kind of pivot into this area a and lot of not being able to do a good job of it and then also not be doing the thing that they actually are good right. at. Right. A lot of right. the key Batman people had left the studio mm. over the years since Arkham Knight and between that and this. Right. Too. So I think that's a part of it. Yep. But yep. just, yeah, the, the change in direction to just this type of game that people don't like anymore uh, or maybe never did. And yeah. it looks very much like that Avengers game Game. It reminds yeah, me of that quite yeah. a lot. Um, but That's yeah, right. that fucking Avengers game. I, I'm interested yeah. to see it too because it, amongst all that negativity, was like the story and the cutscenes are actually pretty good. Yeah, which uh, yeah, I I, I, I want to see what it's like, but it seems uh, that the answer will be probably yeah, not good. No yeah, bueno. It's a bad. It's a bad game. Uh, also, while we were away, mm. uh, the grind didn't stop. For a young hustler named the kid who beat Tetris. Yeah. Well, his real name, I don't know. A 13 year old kid uh, was the first human being recorded. Yep. Maybe someone else has done it, but ever recorded to fully beat Tetris, <laughs> meaning the NES version, I believe, meaning that he played it to the point, like with those old arcade games where it no longer functions. Right. Because it's like. Yeah, Donkey Kong <laughs> had a thing where you could get. A kill yeah, screen. Yeah, kill screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's funny to think that someone else has done that and not logged it. Yeah. And then he's watching this and is like, oh, people cared. People would have cared about this? <laughs> yeah. God damn. Uh, little 13-year-old kid, good on him. <laughs> the fucking news in America was mostly like, oh, wow, well, look at this. Da, da, da. 37 years, no one's ever been there. Blah, blah, blah. A lot of them said the original version of Tetris, which actually is not. It's not the original no. version of Tetris. But um, They're one, calling it Tetris. <laughs> one news reader was like... Uh, how about that kid? Should, that kid should probably go outside. And I'm oh, so grateful boy. that everyone was like, "Fuck you!" Yeah. What do you mean? He's 13. A. Go where? Yeah. Yes. Fucking. And B. He literally has done something that, to our knowledge, no other human being has done. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. correct. Did it? So you know how many human beings have been bullies? <laughs> Heaps. <laughs> so you're not breaking any new ground, lady. Yeah. Also, the bloody sun's getting hotter all the time. It's not safe to be outside. Exactly. That kid should go further, deep down, <laughs> yeah. dig Get a, in a bunker. bunker. Yes. Yeah. Did he put all the bricks together expertly? <laughs> or Building your bunker. Did he know there was a point that you could get up to in of People this? have been trying to do it for ages. Right, so he was yeah. actively trying to do it. It's not just like he loves playing yeah. and he's really good at it. He was trying to hit that kill screen. I okay. think doing the thing where you get the glove on. Uh, have you seen how people control Tetris competitively? No. The so power glove. You hold the <laughs> that, NES that on the I side. Thought. You don't need a glove, but it makes it easier. because. Okay. So what you're doing is you're holding in one hand the controller and mm -hmm. holding the buttons of the NES controller against your fingers, Okay. specifically the D-pad buttons, Yep. Yep. so that you can rattle your four or five fingers on your other hand. I don't know if they use all of them like that on the back of the controller so that you get four inputs really quickly oh. because it knocks the controller into your finger. So you can do that quicker than huh. your oh my actual God. fingers pushing the button can right. do it. Wow. You can get four for every one. Holy shit. Something like shit. that. Uh, people know how to fucking play this Tetris. sounds yeah. to me like you are thinking of taking this 13-year-old <laughs> Now that it's been done, it's time for me to get into the arena that no one cares about anymore. Yeah, we'll break the record. Uh, it's like the five-minute mile. Yeah. I'll do it as a 34-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> That's a higher score. Well, well <laughs> let's, let's get our documentary film career off and running. We'll do The King of Tetris. Yeah, yeah. We'll track yeah. you versus this little Just Timmy or whatever. a documentary that ends up in me also bullying the kid because <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. It's just yeah. a documentary about you being upset that you could not do it <laughs> yeah well done that's incredible good um, on him I, 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 do you know where they've are they, they're an American kid is that the story I think story? that's right mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know much more about it alright but uh, it, it, uh, it's, it's I, I'm never gonna get into it it's just not for me but when speed running things in that type of realm when someone oh, does yeah. something that breaks through and I get told about it it's always so fascinating and impressive mm. yeah the, well, the, the anyone in the Guinness World Records book anyone <laughs> anyone world yeah. record for worst person I'm like yeah mm -hmm. that's yeah. me clapping yeah. well uh, congratulations to that 13 year old kid you're the official first 2024 filthy casuals weapon of the week <laughs> 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 All right. I guess we'll do that. 
<laughs> well, I think that's what I like to call an episode of a podcast. Yeah. That's, that's the year starting up again. Yeah, See, getting yeah, the I wheels turning. About my Phantom Liberty. Uh, pl- oh, I played Ponyfish Island number one. Oh yeah, uh, it's great. It suffered for me in comparison to um, Inscription. Well, no, 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 because oh. they're very different kinds of games. Right, right, right. The trailer yeah, for sorry. Ponyfish Island 2? Yes. <laughs> Honestly, a little bit, but yeah. mainly um, there is no game. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. the same concept. Yeah, okay. Right. It's, it's, you know, like menu things going weird and shit like that. Right. Uh, aesthetically, I much prefer Pony Island, but just that, that concept of like breaking a game, you know, and, and, and exploring that mm. uh, meta sort of thing uh, had been done for me, mm-hmm. but I, I, I think, don't think it had been maybe by the time. Right. I think Pony Island is quite old now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know exactly when it came out. I want to say 2014, it, it, but I want to mm, say a lot of things. It had to, and we have to hold you back. We edit out a lot <laughs> from the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it had to have been an early uh, experimental game in that in that sense. And yeah, you yeah. Gotta respect that, and yeah, it did make me look forward to to the second one. Uh, more and I did go back and play Inscription and fuck me that card game is so good. The card game in Inscription. I it's keep meaning to uh, yeah go back and uh, when we first all played it, we were, I think we were all saying, oh, it'd be great to just have a mode where you can just play the card game. Mm, and then they added they that in, and then I have never loaded it up. Same. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I've bought it again on Steam, and it, I've had to start the game again. Mm. And, and that mode is not available until you've completed the game. Right, right Kaylee's right. mode or something, whatever the name yeah. of the person yeah, yeah. was. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I played. I went back in on Final Fantasy fourteen as well. Oh, nice! Fuck yeah, the game's fucking sick, man. <laughs> I get so nervous doing doing the raids and shit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fuck up. Yeah, sometimes I do, especially when you're going back. It's really nice if you haven't played it for a bit. When you go back in, so new players have a little um, logo by their name, mm-hmm. so you right. can tell like this person. So you give them a break. Returning players get a different one, oh, so okay. that oh. people know. Oh, they haven't played it in a bit. Oh, that's, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Um, but show them the ropes. Doesn't doesn't help that much <laughs> if you. It's, I, I changed the class of character that I'm playing. Anyway, I'm having fun playing Final Fantasy fourteen. I won't sick. talk too much about okay. it. Okay, nice. That game's sick, and I want to go finish all the stuff that I didn't do uh, right. in my previous time with it because another expansion comes out this year, I believe. Oh, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Well, there's lots of stuff to look forward to in there January. There is. You well, know yeah. what? Maybe I'll have a fucking VR update next week. Oh, okay. yes. Maybe I'll have finally gotten my head together, put a headset on top of it, mm-hmm. and uh, tell you what, I really want to play Resident Evil 4. Yeah. 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 I really want that for you as well. <laughs> yeah. You didn't a minute ago. <laughs> We're all rooting for you. I thought I was kind of half hoping you would say that you have gotten your shit together and sold it by next week. Uh-uh. But, Deeper uh, in. <laughs> if yeah. You're, if, you're, if you're playing Resident Evil 4, I'd love to hear about it. Yeah. It looks sick. Yeah. You either, by next week, you either need to have played Resident Evil 4 VR, okay. sold your headset, or bought a second one and not even opened the box yet. Yep. <laughs> 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 Analog pop. Pocket review to yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everyone. Filthycasuals.com.au for all of the links to the stuff that we have going on. We've got the Patreon. Get on there. Support the show. Very much appreciated by all three of us. Yes. And you get an extra little show in your inbox every week. Mm-hmm. Once Sometimes per an week. extra big show. Yeah. yeah. Every week an extra the same as this show. Like yeah, yeah same length. I roughly. think minimum. Uh, tomorrow's episode we'll be talking about salt burn mm-hmm. and... For me, like 20 other movies I watched over summer. Yeah, <laughs> so, me too. Uh, that'll be a, a bumper little episode, I think. Uh, check all that out. We're back, yeah, doing stuff on the YouTube channel. we got yes. a couple of Lethal Company videos up there at the moment, but heaps of stuff on there, full Let's Plays of a bunch of games, mm. one-off little things that we've done over the years, heaps and heaps and heaps of videos on there. Uh, very popular with people that uh, listen to this, we've found out yeah. after doing our little survey. Thank you yes. to everyone who participated in that mm. as part of the Listener Game of the Year. A lethal poll. Company's fun. We'll play it for yep. a bit and, yeah. and find some other stuff to play too. Give us some suggestions of stuff you might like. Yes. Yeah, specific games. Silly, silly co-op games. Uh, I feel like yeah, mm. they seem to be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks very much for listening. We will see you next week. And as we say here at the end of every episode of Filthy Casuals, thirteen-year-old sales the entire globe. Uh, how about you go inside? <laughs> That's me reading the news. Hell yeah. Here's me reading the second part of the news. Oh, I don't feel equipped to talk about this. <laughs>